Hi viewers, uh, this is Susan Wita uh, who comes uh, through True Living Show uh, via Sky Cable TV and uh, today we are continuing on our, a series of hypertension and uh, today I will demonstrate to you how to take your blood pressure so that you can either know whether you are hypertensive or you are pre-hypertensive or you are on stage one of hypertension or stage two or your hypertension is very extreme or you are on a verge of getting stroke so let's start uh, from there um, last time um, I know we talked about diets and then at the beginning when we tackled uh, and started on talking about hypertension um, there was a question everybody who has not visited a doctor or has no hypertension but they would like to know if they can become hypertensive or if they are hypertensive without even going to the doctor just to have an idea just like the way you would like to know um, when other conditions are talked about are you close to that or are you not because when we started um remember we said that being um, when you are you have high blood pressure sometimes the symptoms uh they are like other cardiac issues or other issues so you might not exactly have a cut clear that um, I'm hypertensive but you would like to know and one of those some of the symptoms we talked about I said if you have a lot of headache sometimes you sweat so much sometimes you have a uh, blurry vision um, and sometimes you are fatigued th th those are some of the symptoms which might tell you maybe you have hypertension hypertension or you don't but the other thing where you, you, the, you are able to be to know whether you have high blood pressure is when you visit your doctor and he does a uh, test on you or observe you or assessments but even us uh, we are supposed also to have an idea because it, you might go to the doctor having another kind of a problem and that's the one you'll be treated at but it's it's always good because sometimes when you're almost having a, a certain disorder or a disease we kind of like have an idea so the best thing even people who have no issues with their blood pressure it's always good to to know your baseline to know what is your blood pressure so today i will demonstrate to you on how to to do a blood pressure. Blood pressure is something very simple. Um, nowadays, um, the chemist, the pharmacy, they have the machines to help us do that. Especially nowadays, we have the automatic ones. Uh, here, I have a blood pressure machine, which you can buy on the pharmacy or the chemist. Uh, and it's, it's very simple. It's operated by battery. The batteries are here at the back. And um, it, it's very easy because it, it's automatic. So how you do it to just get an idea of a blood pressure, you would uh, open it like that. It's, it's even well set for you to do it. So, and then you'll come and put on somebody's arm or your arm. Um, and the best place to get blood pressure is on the brachial area here. You, you can also easily get also here on the radio part of it. And there is a simplified one. You can also buy a blood pressure machine like this one. Um, at the pharmacy or the chemist they have all types many types small big and what I would usually say is a cup also depends on your size 
if let's say you are oversized or you are obese, then you need a bigger calf. If you are slim and small, then you need a small calf. Uh, if you are medium, because what usually happens is when you take a blood pressure with a calf which is not your size, then it will give you wrong reading. Let's say uh, somebody is small and then they have a big calf, then the reading might be exaggerated. It, it might read, you know, the number which is not supposed to be theirs. Mostly the number is exaggerated and you, when you are small, you might have no blood pressure, but when you do a calf which is bigger than yours, then it might read a big number and then you're worried and then you might say you are pre-hypertensive or you have high blood pressure or you are on your way to a stroke. And then how you do it, you just get onto um, somebody's hand there. And then I say the brachial area is the best place to do it. Then um, you would tighten it the way it's supposed to be done nicely. Make sure this part is on the, the front where you can see it on the brachial. It's lying there well. coming off but then I can show you on the table there nicely like that and then you can just start it there and then it will it will read for you automatically which is very easy You give it time, it will run, and then the number it will give you there, it's, um, it's millimeter per mercury. That, that would be the number. And then it will give you a blood pressure on top and at the bottom. The top one is called systolic blood pressure, and the lower one is called um, uh, diastolic blood pressure. And because this is not, um, you know, it's, it's synthetic, so it, it might not read, but I'll j demonstrate to you very well here how it goes. So, um, a normal blood pressure for a person is between 120 over 80 and less, but if the blood pressure also goes down to 90 over 60 and less then we call that one low blood pressure so and that is also not good on that side but because we, on on the video we are talking about high blood pressure so let's start here so a normal blood pressure is between 120 over 80 and less but that less will go to 90 over 60 not less than that and then when prehypertension we will talk about prehypertension prehypertension is when the blood pressure um you, you you don't have hypertension but you're heading there and uh the number is between 120 over 135 mm uh, millimeter of mercury on top, systolic, then the, the diastolic, which is the lower number, which we would read here. As you can see here, it has red, but because this is synthetic, it wouldn't, it, if it was me, it would read some numbers here on top and some numbers there by the bottom. It has red here, but, but it, it says zero out of out of 35 um, so when you also look here 
when there they are different stages of hypertension. So um, you are on stage one of hypertension. So that is like 130 to 139. Um, because it's a range. There is no definite number for being hypertensive or for high blood pressure. It's a range. So a range means these numbers, if you fall in between these numbers, they are good because in the past there are some people, they usually ask somebody or they ask me, what is my what is a good high blood pressure number what should it be but always when you are explaining this to somebody who does not know just let them know it's a range and that is what we are talking about here so it's from to have a normal one so i'll tell them it's from a 90 over 60 to 120 over 80 so between that number and that number there are many numbers there it's a range it's a range of many numbers and somebody might also ask you what is stage what is the number i should say that um i have stage one hypertension so you would also explain the same and say it's between 130 systolic to 139 systolic over 80 dystolic up to 89. So between those numbers, it's a range. So that's how you know you have stage 1 hypertension. And then, um, you know, uh, stage 2 also start from 140 to 90, you know, up to high numbers like 160 over 90 over 100. So it's also a big range. Then there is hypertensive crisis. When am I on hypertensive crisis? So, it's also not just one particular number because we are all different, we are all made differently. But mostly it starts when you reach 180 to 120. But mind you, there are some people, uh, it might even start earlier than this. Some might read 170 over 100 and yet they are on hypertens uh, hypertensive crisis. But for the sake of it, when it's very critical, is like when it's 120 of, uh, 180 over 120. And this is very dangerous. This is, it means you're heading to have a stroke. But it depends person to person. There are some people I've seen, um, a patient I used to take care of, uh, one time he had uh, blood pressure of 190 over 120 and I was panicking and then the it was a gentleman. The wife said, no, there are sometimes he even goes to 200. That was so strange, strange for me. There are people with those kind of conditions, but really, but it, it's when it reaches that number, actually you are supposed to be getting treatment and you are uh, supposed even to be on a cardiac floor or in a hospital to be treated. And um, another thing I just wanted to let you know about is also using a, a manual cuff. A manual cuff. Uh, we have all these automated ones which are lead reused. But also a manual one almost give you perfect number. Um, but it, it's usually used by somebody who is trained to do it. Um, and I can just show you how it is done. So it's the same, same way it is done on the arm, on the brachial. 
but we also said you can also use it on the radio part of it. Um, it is it is two parts because this one is manual. This one you, you didn't have to use the stethoscope, but this one it's you, you usually use a stethoscope, and then you put the down part on this side of a stethoscope. This side is called the bell. So you usually put this one and then you make sure you put it where the veins and the arteries are on the brachial side. And then you measure. And the measurements are the same. You use a millimeter of mercury. And then you pump until it cannot move further. And then you, you read the numbers. So you wait for it, you know, if you are trained, you'll know when to notice the systolic number and also when to notice the diastolic number. So that's how the manual one is done. And then you record, uh, you record for Miss Truri, I just, um, for her, it was zero out of zero. The reason is that's not a person. But if it was me or you, we would have our own numbers. And um, for now, this is uh, Susan Muita um, with True Living Show. Um, uh, and the show uh, airs every Tuesdays. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern African time and 12 noon Eastern time. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. And thank you so much. Thank you.